was the last time you had a real date, huh? Yeah. No. It's okay. No. It's okay. No. Come here. No. Come here. I think you need to find a girlfriend. Doc, in my present state of mind, I need a woman like a fish needs a bicycle. I think I need to find the actual car that my family was in when the accident happened. I knew this thing with the car was going to cause you problems. Not that you don't have enough problems already. I knew you and your little boy. Oh my God. Morgan! 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 I tried to call you. Can I help you? I can help you. Like, we can help each other. Morgan! 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 She back her doll. Yeah, Clifford, give it back to me right now. Clifford, why don't you hop in the car and help me check the brakes, okay, son? Why don't you go ahead and push the brakes, all right, son? Okay, Dad. All right, that's good. Now, why don't you do it one more time, all right? Okay, Dad. Good.
You've done a good job of taking care of the car, son. Why don't you go ahead and hop in the back and let me drive? Boy, when you get older. <laughs> Sweetie, how you doing? You okay? How you doing, Clifford? You okay? Close your eyes, Cliff. No peeking. Cliff Jensen here for 9 o'clock, Dr. Clark. Cliff, I tried to call you. I'm so sorry, but I accidentally double-booked you and another patient for 9. But we can get you in at 10. 10? You don't understand. I'm having kind of a panic attack right now, and Dr. Clark is a personal friend of mine. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. My problems are way worse than his problems, and Dr. Clark likes me more. And I booked my appointment, like, weeks in advance. Yes, she was here first. Look, ladies, I mean no disrespect, but I wasn't speaking to you. What's the problem, Bambi? I'm really sorry, but I accidentally double booked these two. No, it's no problem, buddy. Kim, come on in. Uh, Cliff, practice your deep breathing exercise. I'll see you in an hour. What's up with the nutcase? Well, he's an old friend of mine who was traumatized early in life because his family had an accident in Peach Springs and he... Peach Springs? Yeah, yeah. And he wrestles with guilt and separation and closure issues. And, uh, as a matter of fact, he has re reoccurring dreams like yourself. <laughs> he actually is obsessed with trying to find the car 
that he was in when the accident happened. Uh, well, I mean, I want to go to Pete Springs. Maybe, maybe I could help him. And, and... Uh, I Look, I appreciate that. I, I respect that. But he also, uh, he also suffers from hallucinations. He's, he's a good guy, but he just has a lot of baggage. You know what? Maybe you guys exactly. get together. Maybe it may take the focus Absolutely. off of you. Our problems, or? yes. Okay, okay. That's great. That, enough yeah. about him. Now I want to okay. hear all about you. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. <laughs> We'll see you next Tuesday, okay? Okay. All right, big guy, you're up next. What was her big emergency, huh? Latte machine breakdown? Somebody canceled her spinning classes? Hey, Cliff, you know I can't talk about that. Patient confidentiality, so... Anyway, so... How are you doing? Is that uh, medication helping to stop the uh, reoccurring dreams? No. Hey. No, they're... No, I usually don't drink before 11 a.m. You're smart, Cliff. No. Dreams are worse than ever. Exact same dream? Exact same dream I've had for over 40 years and ever since the accident happened. I can't help but think that it's more of a a closure issue with with you with this. You're you're not able to have closure, so you have the dreams. You know, there's something I used to do with my patients. It worked great. I used to have them come in, write a letter to their deceased loved ones, and they came in the office and read the letter out loud. It actually helped them to say the things they couldn't say when the person was alive. Well, Doc, as warm and touching as that sounds, I think I have a better idea. Then what's that? I think I need to find the actual car that my family was in when the accident happened. You mentioned that before. Wait, how is finding that car going to help out your situation? You know, I don't know for sure, but there's something not right with the way that accident happened. My father was a safety nut. He, he was an excellent driver. It's just not possible that he would fall asleep at the wheel or drive off the road for no apparent reason. Well, Cliff, you realize that uh, the car may not even exist anymore. And it's going to cause you a great deal of pain trying to find it. You know what? I think you need to find a girlfriend. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. When was the last time that you had a real date? Huh? Doc, Woodstock? Doc, in my present state of mind, I need a woman like a fish needs a bicycle, okay? I'm not even emotionally available enough to own houseplants. Appointment. Uh, Cliff, um, no problem, no problem. Hey, look, I'm, uh, I'm sorry if I uh, was kind of grumpy in Richard's office. That's okay, I'll forgive you if you have coffee with me. Table for two? Yes. Dr. Clark is really cool, huh? Yeah. He really helped me with my problem. What's that, stealing other people's appointments? Ha ha, Tilly. No, I um, sort of had this recurring dream about my dog. We were hiking in Peach Springs about a year ago, and it was this beautiful day, and we're throwing the ball around, and I turned my back for one minute, and Morgan was gone. It was like she disappeared in some sort of time warp or something, and it completely freaked me out, and I'm having dreams ever since. 
I'm crazy. Look, you don't have to tell me all this. No, 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 no. It, it helps me to talk to somebody who, who understands. It's, it's a good thing. Well, maybe you could uh, get another dog. Well, it's really not that simple. Um, well, my brother Jim gave me Morgan to watch while he was in Iraq, and... Well, the night I lost Morgan, I looked all night and I couldn't find her. And I came back that night and I, I found out that Jim had been killed in Iraq, so... I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, I really wanted to talk to you because, I mean, it's very similar to your problem. You know, I mean, the recurring dreams and you had your accident in Peach Springs, right? What? Who, t who told you that? Well, Richard? So much for patient confidentiality. No, 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 he had good intentions. He, you know, and I think it's really great that you're going to look for the car, and he thought it would be a really good thing, like we could help each other, you know, and maybe I could find Morgan. You know, now I think you are crazy. So let me get this right. You want to go back out to the desert with me and wander aimlessly through countless junkyards, searching for a car that may not even exist. Yeah. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Are you Clifford Jenkins? Yes. And you are? I'm Nora Keller. I knew you and your little boy. Uh -huh. And look at you now, so grown up. <laughs> I knew your uncle Dick when he started dating your mother. No, 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 you mean my father was Jack. I know your father Jack too. But your uncle Dick used to date your mother before they ever met. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, that, was, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Well, anyway, I'll let you two get back to your lunch. It was so good to meet you again. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Uncle Dick. Huh? What? This is Kim. Hi. Hi, Kim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so what are you two up to on this nice day? Well, we're still looking for that old car. You said that you were going to take some time and think about what happened to it after the accident. Have you had a chance to think of anything that could help us find it? No, that was a long time ago. Did my best to forget about that accident. That car has probably been parted out or salvaged. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <coughs> <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, just too many of these in my lifetime, I guess. Sure glad I never let you start smoking when I raised you up. You did a great job raising me, and you're still the best auto mechanic in town. Yeah. And probably the best uncle a guy could have. Hey, listen, I uh, bumped into somebody that said they knew you. Yeah, who's that? Nora Keller. I think she might have you confused with my dad because she thought you dated my mom. Last I heard from her, she was, uh, she's gone senile. Well, anyway, we should probably get going. Good to see you. Good to see you. Take nice care. to meet you. <laughs> Nora Keller.
Were you close to your sister? Yeah. I mean, we were pretty young when, when the accident happened. But um, we didn't, you know, grow into adulthood together. But, you know, I loved her like I loved the rest of my family. And that's what Richard's been helping me deal with. Is he helping you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's... He's awesome. He's helped me a lot. It's been, it's been great. But you still go. You still keep going, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, you saw me there, <laughs> so obviously I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you go see him? Ah. Uh, every day? No, not every day. <laughs> a couple times a week. Unless I'm having a panic attack, then I go in a little bit more frequently. And get mad when other people steal your appointments. <laughs> Sorry. So how many jackyards are we going to go to today before we pass out? You know, I don't see any 56 Fords. I think uh, I've got four more we're going to go to tomorrow. Why don't we find a place to spend the night? That would and, be great. Uh, we'll start up again tomorrow and do the other four. Four more? Four more tomorrow. Yes, let's They're go all sleep. Near. That would be great. Um, is it okay if, uh, I, uh, use a bed, this bed? Yeah, let's do this bed, because it's by the window. I like this one better. Oh, you want that bed? I'll just take that one over there. Okay? Okay, I'll take that one over there, then. Okay, good. <laughs> Are you not going to brush your teeth? No, I'm, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? I slept very well, thank you. How about you? Good. Did you have any dreams? Now, well, let me think. About the middle of the night, I dreamed that a beautiful woman crawled into my bed. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was very nice. <laughs> I bet. Hey, listen, we should probably get packed up. We've got four junkyards to visit today. It's going to be a I lot know, of fun. I know, I know, I know. Good times. Woo!
Yes, uh, can I help you? Yeah, you've got a 56 Ford Fairlane Town Sedan? I believe I do, yes. Is it for sale? Could be. Can we take a look at it? Sure, hang on just a minute. All right. There it is. Nah, it's the wrong color. I repaid it in 1966 when I did the repair for the front end damage. Really? So what's the story on this car? Well, I've had it here since the 60s. You don't even know what the 60s are anyway, do you? Uh, there was an accident over in uh, Beach Springs, and the whole family was killed in this car at the time. And another family member paid to have it towed all the way over here. So why would someone with a car that wasn't damaged that bad tow it 100 miles away? Well, maybe they didn't want to see the car and be reminded of the accident. Huh. Picked it up really cheap, repaired the front end damage, and nobody's ever wanted to buy it. It's just sat there the whole time. Okay. Uh, you know, I love old cars. Would you show me that blue one? Surely, there? come on. Come on up. What do you want for it? What's it worth to you? I'll give you a grand for it right now. Oh, it's a lot of work. How about two grand? I'll split the difference with you. You got a deal. Sold. <laughs> do you have the title? Yeah, I'll go get it for you. All right. Oh my God! Yay! This is awesome! We found it, we found it. Can you believe it? I can't. This is amazing. Are you happy That's now? the car. Are you happy now? I'm so happy. I just wish we could find your dog, too. Yeah, don't worry about that. You found the car. This is huge. Now what do you want to do? Let's call Uncle Dick. Borrow his truck and trailer. Tow it back home. Dick's place. Uncle Dick. Yeah, what are you you'll doing? Never, you'll never guess what we found. Tell me what you found. We found the car. Oh, that's, uh, that's great. Yeah, we're so excited. Hey, listen, can I um, borrow your uh, good truck and uh, flatbed trailer to haul it home? Yeah, go right ahead. Uh, you know, you just got to be careful of that trailer and truck. Okay, yeah, we'll be real careful. We'll be there in the uh, morning to uh, pick it up. Thanks so much. I'm so excited. All right, drive All safe. Right. All right, bye now.
Hey, I'm under here. Ah, never guess what I found. A bunch of dirt? No. Oh. There's evidence this car's been sabotaged. The brake lines were drilled, and someone drilled a large hole in the manifold so that fumes would enter the car. What's your point? That might be why everybody was asleep in the car when the accident happened, and why my dad couldn't stop the car. I think somebody was trying to kill our family. And that's ridiculous, Cliff. Why would someone want to kill an entire family? I don't know. But I want to talk to the guy that maintained the car. Uncle Dick. Uncle Dick. What? We found something on the car. There's evidence the car has been sabotaged. Someone drilled the brake lines to make the brakes fail, and someone drilled one big hole in the manifold to let fumes into the car. I'm pretty sure that's what caused the accident. Do you have any idea who could have done that? Sit down, Cliff. There's something I've been needing to tell you for a long time. Remember when you met up with Mrs. Keller the other day? Yeah, why? And she was right. I did know your mom before your dad did. She was a beautiful woman. You should have this. I've been carrying it too long. We've been dating a while, and very much in love. At least I thought so. Brought her home to meet the family. Your dad was there. And I could tell when they met that there was some sort of instant attraction. Not long after that, she left me. A few weeks later, she started dating your dad. Eventually, they got married, and I mean, I had mixed feelings. I, I, Wish them both great happiness, and yet I felt like I had been somehow cheated out of the love of my life. Your dad had everything I wanted. Beautiful wife, great kids, nice home. Good job. Hired me to work on his cars. I 
I knew he was going on a business trip, so I sabotaged his car. Must have been out of my mind. It's a terrible thing to do. The last minute he decided to take the whole family. He never meant to hurt anyone except your dad, of course. And I'd hoped he'd have an accident and never come home. This is my confession to you. I know I committed a crime. Somehow I thought I could make amends if I looked after you. <laughs> you can call the cops if you want to. You need to know I, I suffered every day since all that happened. So what is the emergency? The car had been sabotaged. The brake lines were drilled, and the manifold was drilled to let fumes into the car. Are you sure? Yeah. I talked to my Uncle Dick, and he confessed. He wanted to kill my father. Why, why would he do that? He had a thing for my mom. Oh, God. See, I told you this. I knew this thing with the car was going to cause you problems. Not that you don't have enough problems already. And now you find out that the uncle who raised you killed your family. Great, great, great. So I'm a magician now? I told you, if you just listen to me, I, I can help you out. Do you think I should call the cops? What good is that going to do? It's not going to bring back your family. It's going to cause you more trauma. I think you need to do what I told you to do in the first place. Yeah. You know, this is the field where I lost Morgan. This is the, the exact field. You're sure? Yeah, I'm very sure. You're positive? I'm positive. That's... It's unusual. Come on. <sighs> Did you bring the letter that Dr. Clark told you to write? Yeah. Why don't you try and read it? Dear Mom and Dad and Angie, I hope you can hear what I'm going to say to you. I miss, all of you. I miss all of you more than you can imagine. Every night, I dream about all of us some, somehow being together again as a, as a family. The happiest days of my life ended the day of the accident. And not, now I know it wasn't an accident. I want you to know that I would do anything in the world to be back together again as a family. And I'll come back and visit all of you soon. It's really good. Thanks.
Did you hear that? What? Did you Did you hear that dog? No. That was Morgan! Morgan! Kim. Morgan! Kim. Morgan! Kim. Morgan! Kim, it's Kim. okay. Morgan! Kim, she's not really there. Kim, 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 Kim. No. It's okay. No. It's okay. No. Come here, no. come here. It's okay. I hear things too. It's okay, honey. Morgan's not really there. No, no, Morgan's no. not really there, okay? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's okay. You know, I've waited a whole lifetime for this day. Is it safe? Did you check it out and make sure it's safe to drive? Yeah, it's safe. I can do the uh, cosmetic work later on, but uh, no, it's safe to drive today. We'll give it a shot. All right, here we go. Let's see if it'll start. Cliff, where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? You said it was safe, so I'm going for a ride with you. It is safe. You can go in the second time. I've got to do the first one by myself. You understand? I'll take you in the second time. Hi. Hey, um... I, uh, I got this for you. Why? Take a look at it. It's for helping me realize my dream. Mm, try it on. Good. I'll go on the second one. You can go on the second time, okay? It'll be okay. He's where he wants to be. Morgan! Morgan! Oh my God. Morgan! Morgan! Come here, Morgan! Morgan! Morgan, come here! Morgan!
so good to see you. Done a good job taking care of the car, son. Why don't you hop in the back and let me drive? I want to talk to the guy that maintained the car. All right, well, let's go. You have the title? Yeah, I'll go get it for you. All right, thanks. <laughs> Yay! Yay! That's awesome! <laughs> Still rolling, keep going. <laughs>